Hello, it's William Jamin. Welcome to my channel. So you're watching a series of video of how to use Illustrator on your iPad. And um, this video, we're going to talk about a tool that I love the most, I enjoy the most. And I think that's the exact tool, exact kind of technique that sort of hooked me into this software. And of course, a lot of software have this functionality, but there is like no better software in my personal opinion uh, to create a vector and design as well as a svg file and um, later you can animate it okay uh, but that's for a later video uh, but i think this functionality is so good for creating uh, say simple clip art or um, some simple design simple animation element okay let's get to it so first let's just create some file and um, so we are talking about pen as well as pencil. So pen all is depending on the anchor point. So you click it, it's an anchor point. Okay, so it's like, uh, for example, William Jamin, so this is a W. So let's uh, let it draw a W here. So click, 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 click. Okay, and the most important thing about this is that you can not only just add anchor point and connect the dots, but you can add so much more by calling this property here. And you can first fill with color. Right now, it's a it's an, it's an open shape. It's not a closed shape. So um, we will talk about that later. Right now, we can change the stroke size to say 80. Okay, so you can get a um, wider width of the uh, stroke and you can change the stroke color like reddish or bluish something like that doesn't really matter okay you can even make the feel say solid and you can change the blend mode to normal multiply screen or that uh, we will talk about that when we deal with like multiple elements together okay right now I think it's good time to just uh, close this so it got a close to shape uh, but i want a w here so um i'm going to decrease the stroke to just a one okay and i'm going to hide it and just add a tiny width of here say here and then here here and let's close it okay so if you close it right now you wouldn't see this uh let's like feel the color so you have to turn the feel to i don't know maybe some solid color or you can change to a specific gradient okay i love this like gradient and then you can change the gradient um you know the percentage of like from specific color to a specific color you can change all that uh, i prefer solid for the design so I will just choose a solid color like this. Okay, so yeah. And um, this is very useful because it can give you precise design of a specific shape. Um, so for example, you are designing a logo, you're designing a uh, say app icon. Um, let me just uh, give you. Okay, so for example, the uh, like the Xynophone, the simple Xynophone app that I developed I choose, uh, I use the simple shape for that and as well as a simple beat trainer logo uh, this is all like um, already published app that I made in my another channel called code with William Jamming. okay so if you're interested do check it out and I also share how I made this logo on this channel uh, using like a PC version of Illustrator so if you're interested you can also check it out so let's go back to our W here and um, so of course you can fine tune it by combining the selection okay so you can still select or you can use the direct select to change say uh, I want to add a little bit of say the the curve here okay I want to be you know a little bit down below and I want to add a say uh, some sort of uh, curve by using this basal okay you can click and drag just to make it not so like angular yeah you can do that then you can click and change it and make it more rounded of course you can do that and then you can change the left and right basal 
um, to make it like more smooth or you want some weird shape you can do that by say something like this like gooey sort of design you can do that as well so let's try one more so click here first you can make it a curve a basil right and then you got two options okay so one for this one one for the other one so you can get a a little lips like bulge out you can do all that okay uh, let's just try yeah one more time click i want this to be like wider i can do that i want this to be you know wider or you know something like this i can do that as well so it's a really good um tool for design and of course once you uh, let's select another one and then once you finish that you can add another element so within jamming so i'm going to use a j for this one of course once you click this field it's sort of an automatic field things uh for you um so yeah i normally would just uh, click uh, make it automatic field because i love this of course this really depends on your personal taste so j something like that okay j and then for example i want to add another one okay i want to choose another one j then an m okay m okay and then then we can close this with n j m okay and then you can like select individual one okay select here and then select an individual one or select here so change individual one as well so that's all about the um pen tool so in next video we're going to talk about pencil okay don't forget if you love this series you want me to update more about design as well as you know something like a vector not rasterized um art you can also leave in the comment or give this video a like just give me some sort of feedback so i know uh, which area should i like put more effort to okay thanks bye